Hey, hey Crafty Fam, welcome back to my channel. It's Coco DIYs, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are doing an LOL theme, surprise doll theme birthday party decor. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Um, anyway, uh, I am going to be doing a time lapse in this video and kind of um, a quick snapshot of the candy table that I made as well as how I put together the backdrop. Um, it's going to be a really short video, but I just want to go over the colors with you real quick before we get into it. We are working with the a uh, Caribbean blue. Um, I'll tell you the brand in the description. I forgot the brand at this moment. We have metallic pink and then we also have uh, metallic white so those are the three colors that we we're working with and as an accent I did purchase some polka dot tablecloths I feel like the polka dots and the black backdrop really accent these uh, this color scheme very well and it really brings out the blue and the pink of the um, of the theme for this uh, birthday party decor if you guys um, stay till the end of the video I will go over some highlights of the video and let you guys know what I've learned, um, positives, negatives, yeah, all that good stuff. So let's get into the video. sure on the Caribbean blue but um, because when the balloons sometimes when your balloons are you see the balloons in the package you don't actually if you've never worked with them before or never used them before especially if you use a different brand um, sometimes certain blues don't always look the same like Caribbean blue is not the same as Robin Eggs blue I don't know why they name it like that but whatever um, so you know you kind of have to test out um, colors here and there some um, when you are a balloon artist because you're not 100% sure the balloon inside the package does not look the same after it's blown up so whether you're a balloon artist and you have clients or you're just doing this for your own parties just keep that in mind but aside from that I I really really like these two uh, the pink and the blue together so I'm probably gonna use that more so um, highlight number two is and kind of midway through the video when I was adding the balloons to the backdrop and I already had the happy birthday sign up um, I was struggling I had some real difficulty adding those balloons to the backdrop because the cover is actually spandex 
and so I didn't want to puncture the spandex um, and make it tear so I was really struggling with um, how to add it and I was able to hang the happy birthday sign with a um, with the wreath hanger a clear wreath hanger from the Dollar Tree so I did that but then every time I tied the balloons and attached the balloons to that same wreath hanger it was actually pulling the wreath hanger off the ring so um so everything almost fell and the happy birthday sign almost fell to the ground so i actually put the garland up in two pieces i actually the first part was attached to the ring and then i had half of the garland base attached to that and then i had to do a stack or almost like a balloon column on the side because i didn't want to pull the birthday sign off the backdrop because that would have been horrible and just ruin the whole thing. So um, just keep that in mind when you are working with a spandex um, spandex backdrop cover. Um, it's you got to kind of think about how you're going to attach things. I had I tried double sided tape. I tried all these different things and it just wasn't working. So um, but hey, pulled through. Everything worked out. Everything looked great. So I was really happy with the result. But um, now I kind of have to troubleshoot some other solutions just in case uh, what I did for this event does not work. The third highlight is with the ring assembly um, and by ring I mean the round um, eight foot backdrop ring. Um, that stand actually you know comes in I think five or six pieces so the night before I actually had one of my sons help me put the spandex um, cover on the backdrop which helped a lot but then in order to to move the stand I had to take the cover back off and disassemble the backdrop so I will say that the one tip if you are I will highlight uh, I will <laughs> I will link the um, the stand the actual stand and the cover um, down below in the description but what I realized is that I had to put that thing to put it on in pieces because I wasn't going to be using my son to help me at the event so I had to actually put half of the stand like the top half of the stand the first like three pieces I put those together and then put that inside the cover and then assembled the bottom portion of the stand and moved that into the room and then was able to connect the top portion and then continue to you know wrap that cover around the ring so that's just a tip if you guys are going to use that stand with that exact cover um, just keep in mind that you may need two people if you are assembling it on site or try to think of ways that you can um, kind of piece together the stand after you already have the cover on the top half so um that's it guys thank you for uh watching this video hopefully you enjoyed yourself if you did hit that like button give me a comment and i will see you guys next time